Brandon and Trevor, your drinking buddies back again with another episode. We only have a few more weeks left of summer, so we got to get these light beers out of the way so we can get out there and, and get some fall beers going on. So today we have lager episode. So I guess the, the Germans, when they're brewing in the wintertime, had to change up their, their yeast strain uh, so it could do better in the colder temperatures. So, so the yeast stay active and uh, convert the sugar into alcohol at a colder temperature compared to the summer, which they use uh, the ale yeast. So well you know, said. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was <laughs> that. Today we're starting off with Upper Hand Brewing's Light, premium light lager, 4.2%. Upper Hand is from Escanaba, Michigan, yes. and the old Uper. Oh yeah, Escanaba. The old Uper's up there. First beer of the day, 4.2%, um, the latest, latest one of the day, so. Little, tastes a little skunky. Yeah, it's almost got kind of like a piney taste. Yeah, I can see that. And it finishes really bubbly. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel bubbles or something in the back, or unless that's a bitterness, but I can't... Oh. It's kind of, it's like a little hoppy. Yeah. But it's got, it's really good. It's got awesome flavor, I think. Super, super light body. Yeah. Very, very light. I hope it's the skunkiest one that we, <laughs> <laughs> that we come across, because I feel like it's skunky, kind a of. A little bit. Usually, um, Pilsners are the skunky ones. Yeah. The body is really light. And clean, Crisp. but it doesn't finish, like, it leaves a lot of flavor in my mouth. Yes. A lot of beer flavor. Yep. Yeah, I could totally agree with that. But yeah, it's a very, it's almost like a champagne kind of bubbly. Like, it's yeah. really bubbly. Yeah. And I wonder if that's that tingle on the back is that, like, just the lingering bubbles popping. and bubbles popping. Yeah. Could be. Easy drinking, though. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Very light body. I've actually, I don't think I've ever seen a beer that looks that freaking clear. That's crisp. Yeah. Crispy. I guess that. It's weird because it, it, it almost like, like it doesn't have a lot of flavor, but I feel it in the back of my tongue. You know what I mean? Like maybe it's because we're used to such big beers that I almost can't really taste a, a malt or like a hot flavor. Yeah, there's, it's not a very big flavor profile. I still think I would prefer a bush light. Well, yeah. Uh, I don't know why. There's just can't something go wrong with a latte. <laughs> <laughs> There's something going on with that lingering flavor back on the on the back of my tongue. It's just like this, like tingly. I don't know if it's from the carbonation or if it's like hop or if it's that skunk flavor that I'm getting. Um, I've had quite a few different lagers, and I, I'm not a big fan of this one. I'd probably have to say three six. Yeah, and I guess I haven't really had a lot of lagers. Yeah, I guess I, I'll meet you at your three six and okay. to see what's to come. Yeah. I don't know. That's <laughs> oh, huh. Second beer, Brewery Vivant's Grand Lager. Brewery Vivant in Grand Rapids, Michigan, 4.5% alcohol. This beer is for those looking for simple goodness and quality, made with a passion in Beer City, U.S. of A, baby. Woo-woo! Oh. Super light again. Yeah. As they should be. Actually, this one looks brighter. This one has more of a amber color to it. Yeah. Brewery yeah. Vivant, great. Uh, Grand Lager. Gr uh, great brewery. Go <laughs> <laughs> Grand Lager. <laughs> Love it. See, there's something about it that tastes better. Yeah. There's not much like flavors. You know what I mean? Right. It's just a, it's like a beer flavor. There's not really anything else. You're almost re relying on how it feels, almost too, because right. for some reason this it, it doesn't leave that. There's no skunkiness. It's it more doesn't. Silky. Yeah, and it's more smooth. Yeah, and it has just a little bit more malt flavor. It's not like very you know caramely or, or biscuity, but it's just smoother, and I can like taste grain. Yeah, and I. But yeah, smooth. I think is the key word. Like definitely, it is one grand lager. Yeah, that is for sure. Shoot, that's got really good freaking flavor. I like that a lot. As far as far as lagers go, I gotta believe that's right. That's there. That's top notch. And I'm not a huge, I'm not a lager expert by any means, but you know, that's why we're doing today because we're not, we don't really know what to expect or anything. Mm -hmm. I know they're just light and crisp. I, it definitely more flavor, mm -hmm. definitely more malty, and it's, it is crisp, but it's smooth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. You might not want to shotgun it. 
<laughs> might be a little much to shotgun because this this isn't. I no... bet you there's brave soul out there. <laughs> so I can't burp on the channel anymore. My mom said so. I'm at a four three with it because I think it does have a lot a uh, lot better flavor than the previous one. Uh, smoother, uh, more malt flavor, and I don't know. You know, I won't say it's. It's hoppy, but I can definitely taste that there's a little bit yeah. more hop going on in there, and it's it's nice. Yeah, very easy drinking, smooth. I like the yeah, like the smoothness of this way better. A four two. Okay. Just right underneath. Third beer flying through them pretty quick. Uh, Lager of the Lakes by Bells. Bells in Comstock, Michigan. It is a Bohemian Pilsner. Not sure oh. what makes it Bohemian. As refreshingly crisp as a morning swim in the Great Lakes, this golden laga sparks <laughs> thoughts of sandy beaches and freshwater islands. Dope design. It is awesome. And I think go. I'm going to guess that Bohemian has something to do with cult. Okay. I'm not. Don't quote me on that. Yeah. But because Mount Bohemia is at the tippy, tippy top of the UP. Yeah. And I don't. Bohemian Rhapsody, that's just a cold-blooded song. <laughs> 5% alcohol. Shelf life, three months. We may have exceeded that. A little bit. Bell's well. Lager of the Lakes. See, a lot I, more malt. Yeah, and I feel like I can taste uh, rice in the malt bill. And it finishes drier. Yes. What? That's weird. It really does. Yeah. It's like almost hoppy. At the end, but yeah. it's got like, I mean, that's, that's dang good. It's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's different for sure. It's hazy. Oh, yeah. Most flavorful. Oh. Dang, Bells. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Lager, I get it. Hazy. Finishes dry and crisp, and I feel like there's a little hop at the end. Yeah. That is, that's cool. I feel cool. like there's a good amount of hop at the end. I feel like, like I taste a little bit of rice. I feel like I can taste a little rice in there because I know Bud Light uses rice, whereas Bush Light uses um, corn syrup. So that's the difference. That's, oh. why, that's why there's a price difference because they use high fructose corn syrup and uh, Bush Light, and then Bud Light uses rice to, to get that uh, that malt oh. in there. So I didn't know that. Yeah, I feel like this is a straight camp, like a cabin beer, middle of summer cabin, dude. It's got some flavor. Right. Up in Escanaba. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't plan that. This, this really does, though. It's yeah. like super light fishing trip up at a cabin. You're going to bring a freaking 12-pack of that. Is that because of the can? It See? Marketing. It, now I want it to work. Yeah. It's a fishing pole. <laughs> I Cut see the a episode. tree or is it a, a fish? <laughs> <laughs> mindset on fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make you feel really heavy. It's not super sweet. I feel the Grand Lager by Vivant was a little sweeter. Yes. But I think this one's more hoppy, so it cuts away. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because at the beginning, I think it's more malty. Well, and it's higher alcohol, so that you know there's more sugar in it. Oh. So how yeah, how does it finish so crisp? It's that, that cloudy hop going on in there. Oh, yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're meeting at a four or five. Land of the lakes. Or Largo of the lakes. <laughs> Fourth beer, Shorts Brewings, Locals Light American Lager. 5.2%. Shorts Brewing is in Elk Rapids, Michigan. Woohoo! 5.2% Shorts Lager. Wow. Malty. There's malt, and then there's a little bit of alcohol at the end. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. I don't know about you, but that's what I'm getting. See, and that's the thing about it. It's really all you can taste is like the grain. Yeah. It's, yeah, whoever has the best malt bill, really. Yeah. Is what it is. And um, hop, um, amount of hops and what type of hops. We got some good malt. Uh, flavor in there and then it finishes with like a little alcohol and then it just rounds out to a beer flavor. I think it does finish clean and it just gives you a, like a, a like a poof of this malty alcohol flavor. I guess you're right. The flavor qu is quickly diminished. Yeah. 
you just tint that off your tooth. I think I did. That, that malt that I'm getting is kind of like a little bit more of a biscuit flavor. I get what you're saying. I'll agree with you there. This lager tastes like a blonde or a cream ale, which is mm -hmm. a little bit bigger than a lager. This yeah. has, yeah. But I mean, if you went to Shorts, you said, yeah, I'll take the lager. You'd be like, yep, that's okay. It tastes like a lager. But like you put them up to all these lagers, you're like, whoa, that's right. weird. This is completely different from that one. And yeah. I, yeah. I was at a four. I'll hit you with a four. Okay. Fifth and final beer, Founders is Solid Gold. Premium lager, 4.4%, 20 IBUs. Founders, Grand Rapids, Michigan. I feel like you all knew that, though. The color on this has to be the best, though, I got to say. More amber, and it still is hazy. It's still a little hazy. It's not crisp. Hopefully, we'll get some hops. <laughs> oh, shoot. What? Uh, oh. <laughs> Founders is solid gold. If you go to the tap room, you have to get a 24 pack of solid gold. It is $17 off the door for a 24 pack. That is the best deal you're going to get on craft beer Period. anywhere. Founders solid gold. By far the goldest color. Definitely. Yeah. Hey. hey, they're on some. There's the hops. That's some hops. <laughs> this has the biscuit lager flavor. This has that biscuity, malty flavor. Um, does it finish clean? Is it a clean, crisp, light-bodied beer? I don't think so. It's heavy. Yeah, it's the heaviest one so far, or out of this whole episode. Yeah. And that's where the haziness comes from, the, the hops to it, for sure. What time of the year did you get that water from? <laughs> With a salmon runner? <laughs> <laughs> Hazy, hoppy, real good, borderline heavy biscuit malt flavor it's almost too heavy for me yeah yeah i think that's exactly it flavorful yes good flavor yes but does not have the clean crisp finish and body of a lager that you would expect right yeah i'm feeling bloated dude yeah we're shotgun a boy hand me a beer <laughs> solid gold <laughs> <laughs> i was kind of at the even 4-0 with it you we'll know what i mean we'll meet at a 4-0 okay meet at a 4-0 Hey, that's and it's nothing that's against fun. them. It's just it does not taste or drink like a lager. Right. Upper hands light. Little skunky. Not a lot of flavor at all. Is pretty good, I guess, if you're just trying to shotgun beers. <laughs> Shorts locals light. The flavor was there. It just it was just a little quick pop of flavor and then it diminished to nothing. Founder Solid Gold, a little too heavy, although the flavors were amazing. I loved it. I mean I always drink that, but for a lager episode, it was just a little too heavy and it did not finish as crisp and clean as I was hoping. Brewery Vivant, clean, smooth, easy drinking flavor, and it lasted a long time. Lager of the Lakes by Bells, gotta give it to them. Light, crisp, um, Little little rice tasting malt bill, and then at the end it finished uh, on the drier side, a little bit on the drier side, and then you got that that hot flavor out of it. Nice clean crisp lager, um, got the hops and got a nice uh, log lager body. I don't know, it, it was it was great. I can see myself buying twelve packs of these in the summer for now on. Upper hand light, super light bodied, but yeah the. Skunkiness was a bit much for me. Shorts, yeah, like Brandon said, uh, quickly diminished flavor. That flavor that there, that's there isn't great. Founder Solid Gold, just heavy, I think, uh, for being a lager is really what it boils down to. Flavor was good, though. Brewery Vivant, I really like the creaminess of it. Really what's most to be said there, the flavor was awesome. Lager of the Lakes, just... Killed it. Malt profile in the hops. It was just on point. They nailed it. Logger episode. We did not know what to expect coming into this. And we're not logger guys. We're double dry hopped IPAs, fruited sours, and imperial stout guys. So we learned a lot because I did not know that loggers could taste this right. different. The last of the summer party. Go get you a pack of bells. There you go. There you go. Thanks for watching the Logger episode, everybody. We had a request to do 
an Oktoberfest and a pumpkin beer episode. So that's going to be coming up uh, shortly within the next few weeks. So watch out for that one. Uh, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.